Hey everybody, today we're going to discuss how to set up the rental inventory for use by our QR code system. To start, you want to go to rental info, rental inventory list. And you can see here that I already have some serialized items. Right now, I have this set up so that my serial numbers match my QR codes. I've designated PT Rental 1000, serial number 1000 through serial number 1009. So serial number 1000 represents or is already linked to QR code 1000. Then I took uh, some hand washing stations and I assigned serial number or QR code 1010 through 1018. If you wanted to add more inventory, just go to bulk add serial numbers. Choose your, for instance, hand washing station rental. Enter a quantity. Maybe you're adding 10 more for 10 more QR code stickers. Enter a quantity of 10 and then pick your starting number. Right now, QR code or serial number 1018 is the last uh, number assigned. So I'm going to start this at 1019 to pick up from 1018. And I'll click add. And we'll add 10 more. And that's it. That's all you need to do to add rental inventory. Bulk add serial numbers. Choose the item you want to serialize or add QR codes to. Enter your quantity and then pick up from the next available QR code um, on the roll. Out the box, once you get this installed, the system already will associate QR code 1000 to serial number 1000 or 1018, for instance. But let's say, for instance, you're using prefixes, or maybe you don't want your serial number to match the QR code. In that sense, all you need to do is uh, enter in at the bottom your line item. Maybe we're doing a hand washing station. And maybe you want this to be HW1000. You want to give it a prefix or your own individual number. Or maybe you've been set up for a while and you already have prefixes and you need to, you, you can't match the QR code to the serial number. All you need to do is enter in the QR, this, the available serial number there. Then you click this button that says QR codes. You'll get a pop-up. Would you like to see a map of the QR codes? If you say yes, the report page will open up. I'm going to say no. This way, the column for the QR code gets created or gets shown or displayed. Since I added HW1000, right over here, I can give it any available QR code number off that roll. Maybe I want QR code 1250 to be tied to serial number HW1000. That's all you need to do. So your two options is either make the serial number match the QR code or add your own serial number and provide your own serial number, I'm sorry, and provide the corresponding QR code sticker you want to match with that serial number. That's it for rental inventory setup of the QR code system. Please watch our next video where we proceed on to using the QR codes. Have a good day.